Ok, so let's go. Top. Ok. So, Good afternoon, dear colleagues, dear students, uh, dear guests. It is my dedicated pleasure to welcome you back again on uh, this uh, Chinese Luxembourgish forum on COVID-19 related issues. We have uh, gone through several important uh, topics about it and uh, uh, we are all aware about uh, the uh, groups at risk. However, there is one of the most probably uh, frequent asked questions to uh, practicing doctors that has never been addressed neither on our forum, neither uh, so far in an extensive way in the international literature. This is uh, what uh, can we say to ladies who are pregnant? Is there a risk of maternal to fetal transmission of the coronavirus? Uh, to answer this question, uh, we have the pleasure to welcome today uh, Professor Wei Hu from uh, Wuhan University. Uh, Professor Wei Hu is a specialist uh, for virology and uh, deeply uh, implicated into uh, research about coronavirus issues. Besides, he acts as vice dean at the Basic Medical College at Wuhan uh, University. And of course, all of us are, um, how would I say, uh, very willing uh, to meet uh, either in Luxembourg or in Wuhan as soon as uh, aircrafts will resume their work. Um, Professor Wei Hu will uh, give his lecture and after his lecture we will have a nice panel discussion where we welcome also two special guests. Let us start with the ladies. Uh, Professor Stephanie uh, Kais is a specialist for virology and um, teaching and doing her research work within uh, the uh, Department of Life Science and Medicine, which integrates into the uh, Faculty of Science, Technology and Medicine at University of Luxembourg. Another uh, distinguished guest today is uh, Dr. Jean-Claude uh, Schmidt, who is basically a specialist for infectious diseases and who is currently uh, acting as a uh, medical director at the Ministry of Health, having in charge uh, the organization of healthcare in the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg. And, well, I guess having sweated a lot during the past uh, three months uh, with uh, taking the commandment of uh, the uh, COVID-19 uh, healthcare strategy. So, uh, as usual, um, for our guests uh, who are logged in uh, to the YouTube channel, you will have the opportunity to send in uh, questions by the chat function. And um, our, um, how would I say, uh, usual <laughs> uh, official uh, translator, uh, Dr. Uh, Xin King Mao, uh, will handle them over to the panel uh, during uh, the discussion. So, uh, let us move uh, directly to the topic of the day. And, uh, dear colleague, Professor Wei Hu, you have uh, the privilege of the floor now. Okay. Okay, so let's start. Yes, you can start, please. Okay, thank, okay, thank you, Professor uh, uh, Kamit and uh, Professor Krasis. So, I come from you know, the state in the board of virology and the Institute of Medical Virology of Wuhan University. So thanks everyone and all uh, good afternoon and in Luxembourg and uh, good, uh, good night in China. And in this uh, topic, uh, square many of the, my uh, college in this uh, speech and uh, lesson. So today is my topic is to how to over obtain uh, evidence of vertical transmission in viral uh, infect infect black women uh, reflection on COVID nine epidemic. Uh, what's the yeah? Okay. Another. Oh, if you need some help, so I can. Uh, Show the slide for you. Uh, Xianqing, yes. What man, how to. Uh, yes, I can show for you. Okay, 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 sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. So you know the the COVID nineteen uh, pneumonia uh, was first uh, report in Wuhan, Huawei province, in December uh, uh, two thousand and nineteen, and also was uh, isolate this virus. You know, next slides. Next slides, please. Yes. Yes. Okay. So you know we found the SARS-CoV-2. Uh, this virus uh, belongs to the genus better uh, better coronavirus, uh, like another coronavirus with uh, envelope. Uh, this virus uh, uh, particle are, are wrong and over. So the genetic characteristic of uh, SARS-CoV-2 are significant, you know, the different from SARS and MERS. The homology with uh, bad uh, SARS like uh, coronavirus uh, is more than uh, 85 85%. So now uh, I think the next next slice. <clears throat> so now we also uh, carry uh, interested in the transmission of the SARS uh, core 2. So you know uh, there's may uh, transmission rules were dropped a uh, uh, droplet and the contact. So now in uh, Wuhan University, another research team uh, report aerosol transmission. So virus may be transmitted through the aerosol when exposed to the high concentration of aero aerosol for a long time, like the uh, hospital and the mobile camping hospital in relative close to this uh, environmental. So now today I read another paper said uh, it found the uh, sarscorn can be isolated in uh, fences and uh, urine. Uh, it could be noted that fences and the urine caused uh, aerosol or contact transmission of uh, environmental uh, population. So next slice. So here uh, we know if there's another transmission in uh, SARS-CoV-2. So we know mother to uh, infant transmission, also it's called vertical transmission. It means um, passing of a, a disease causing agent from mother to a baby during the period uh, immediately before and after a birth, uh, also called intra-urine uh, uh, transmission. Uh, here, we know the plant and some you know the blood plants like the you know uh, such as the uh, rubella virus a hiv and uh, hepatitis b and uh, ascending you know from the blood is uh, some of the bacteria stepto coopers and the staphylo coopers and so on so you know the uh, vertical transmission also include uh, two types uh, of intra pattern transmission and the post pattern transmission. So intra pattern transmission refers to the strong uh, contraction of the uh, uterus during labor, uh, causing um, passenger to enter the neuronates who are able to be derived from the mother or during the lateral, lateral derived or syncerial section. So the new baby is infected by passengers that contact the mother's blood or uh, cervi or cervix and the uh, vagina, uh, such as you know some you know the uh, the climate uh, the uh, climate of course the conjunction conjunctivity this inclusion bodies herpes virus. So post portular transmission uh, it refers to the transmission of uh, new births through the in intimate contact such as res uh, respiratory tract, digestive tract and uh, uh, bread feedings. So now we also, uh, is this, uh, we also uh, care about, you know, the uh, word transmission in women who develop uh, COVID-19 in the third trimester of plexi. So next, next slide. So this, our study uh, aimed to 
uh, evaluate the clinical characteristics of COVID-19 in the pregnancy and the uh, intra uh, uterine vertical transmission potential of COVID-19 infection. So our uh, Zhongnan Hospital of Wuhan University was designated a medical institution for pregnant patients with COVID-19. So now we collect uh, nine uh, patients from an hospital and we clinical data of pregnant women were analyzed, including laboratory examination and the chest CT. Also, we can uh, collected uh, many samples such as placental, uh, oblique corn, and so on uh, of pregnant women and at the time of production. And SARS corn too was detected by the, by the established specific, specific last RT PSR method. So here we show some, you know, uh, on July, the, the, on July 2nd, we uh, also the two uh, samples from, uh, from hospital, and then we sequence these two samples and uh, get some, you know, the, the sequence. And as this sequence, we decide this uh, 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 the primer. So we so the primer was did on the basic of the sequence of the you know this the uh, uh, this the uh, uh, virus uh, strains uh, Wuhan Huan and the past and the passion uh, is sequent sequence uh, like you know the the uh, the, the you know this. This site, uh, 2000, uh, two, uh, 21,657. Uh, and we, uh, this sequence, passion S segment uh, sequence, we application with this primer. So now, uh, next slides. So all patients here, we, we show the nine patients, all patients, had a history, uh, epidemic logical uh, exposed to COVID-19. And none of the patients had uh, uh, underlying disease such as diabetes and uh, chronic hypertension or cardiovascular disease. So here, the patient one, we report in, uh, in this uh, uh, magazine, we think uh, this is the first woman with perinatal infection of COVID-19 pneumonia in Wuhan. So, uh, one patient was found have the have the influenza virus influenza virus infection on the admission to hospital. Uh, and seven of the nine patients presented with a few with a few uh, without chiefs. But none have a high fever, a body temperature uh, more than uh, 39 degrees. Um, and uh, a patient body temperature uh, functu fluctuated with a range from, of 36.5 to 38.8 uh, um, degrees. Next slide. And uh, here we showed this the nine uh, patient nine patients chat C, chat CT scans. All of the nine patients had a chat CT scan. Nine patients showed a typical uh, typical findings of chest CT uh, images, which was uh, multiple uh, pitching ground glass shoulders in lungs like this, very uh, significant. But we find, you know, this uh, if this patient is not CT uh, and the, uh, chest in an uh, emergence. Next, next slice. And uh, here show some of the, you know, the um, major of the pregnant patients with COVID-19 had a, a 
lymphopenia, you know, it's here, lymphopenia, uh, and six patients have an evaluation uh, level of C re, re, uh, reactive protein. And three had increased levels of ALT and AST, one of whom uh, had a level ALT, you know, here, about, you know, 2000, and uh, AST, 1000. Uh, uh, in addition, two cases show a normal level of uh, right uh, cell counts, with no case showing a, a decreased level. So the presentation, I showed is the red. The presentation of SARS-CoV-2 uh, was tested in amyloidic fluid and core blood and new, new, new later throat swore and breast milk samples collect from six patients. So the throat swore, the throat swore you know, this uh, uh, nuclear acid was tested, uh, was tested uh, by KIT, recommended by a CDC in the, uh, in the hospital. And uh, our uh, in-house nest RT-PCR SS detector uh, SARS-CoV-2 in, uh, in other samples. So next slide. So a total nine live babies were recorded for the study participants. No uh, fatal disease, their later deaths, or their later asphy asphyxia were observed. Next slide. Next slide, please. So we uh, maybe we get a, a prion complication. complication. Uh, there is uh, currently no evidence for uh, intrauterine infection caused by vertical transmission in women who developed uh, COVID-19 pneumonia in late pregnancy. Uh, it is published in Lancy on, on light on February 12. So uh, many, uh, some of you that are clinical also uh, get all this data uh, and and uh, set up practical uh, adversary in clinical so such as the uh, A ACOG the American College of Obstetrician and uh, Gynecologist so said this practice adversary and uh, novel coronavirus two, 2019 Next slide. Nice. So you know, Professor Chao Ji, so uh, a, a academic a academician um, of China uh, from Beijing University, uh, she uh, gave us a command in Lancy. She said, to a certain extent, the the possibility of vertical oh. transmission in late, sorry, in late. Uh, in late plexing was excluded, which provided data uh, support for improving the prevention and uh, treatment of COVID-19 in maternal, maternal and uh, newborn babies. And after seeing serial section, no nuclear IC tax was performed on the um, pure, uh, pure period, and it was not possible to determine or rule out the acceptance of neutral delivery through the vert vertical transmission of the birth canal. So our study only three uh, trimestric have been conducted and it is not possible to determine or rule of the presence of intrauterine uh, infection during the first and the second trimester of uh, pregnancy uh, resulting in uh, vertical transmission. So next one. So next slide. So follow studies. So you know uh, we also know the prior report have uh, been limited by small sample size. So from uh, uh, February six to March five, we 
collect 23 plaque the patients in late plaque and we uh, analyze this uh, this all uh, samples and uh, we want to uh, further an uh, evaluation of the mother to child transmission potential of SARS-CoV-2 infection during pregnancy. So next slide. So this data show here, we can find some of the uh, uh, patient of the list, uh, all of all, certain case, you know, these certain cases, uh, 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 56.5% uh, had, had either favor or cough at the uh, admission. And the remaining 10 patients had no symptom and were found by rotten chest CT and confirmed by nuclear isolate test. Uh, but all the patients uh, complications appeared after COVID-19 onset, uh, including PROM, and um, they're here, PROM, and uh, 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 fatal uh, dis distress. May abnormal laboratory uh, findings include increased uh, uh, neutral, increase this one, increase uh, neutral uh, failures, and uh, increased IL6, IL6, yeah, IL6, and fourteen two point nine percent, and typical thing of viral nuclear uh, pneumonia were recorded in chest C CT of all patients. One case uh, expressed uh, uh, vaginal and uh, delivery among the twenty two patients and went uh, uh, in section two had been in child labeled for several hours until March 6, uh, a medium follow-up uh, of uh, 31 days. No patients developed severe um, pneumonia or died of COVID-19. So next slide. So all of 25 uh, neural lates, uh, including uh, Ravi Lucky, uh, including two twin piles, were born alive. So no serve as, as physics or neurotic deaths were observed. Here all uh, we uh, three uh, newborns uh, suspect a positive result. And, you know, uh, uh, there is three uh, preterm newborn also have an um, uh, uh, post, uh, positive for SARS-CoV after being transferred to uh, uh, Leo later logical department and uh, no newborns developed convert uh, lantern. Uh, next. Next slide, yeah. So the uh, neolatory outcomes no serve as fixed or uh, neolator deaths in all newborns. Through SWOT testing result, first time were all lacked for SARS-CoV-2. Uh, no signs of uh, pulmonary uh, infection were found in all newborns. And here uh, we find only one Rectus wall sample from one pregnant patient show a positive result for SARS-CoV-2. So now no uh, evident for viral nuclear eyesight were found in clinical samples from mothers and the newborns, uh, including uh, amniotic flu, cough blood, and uh, plasma ten. So no signs of SARS-CoV-2 exist in the breast. Uh, milk. Uh, next one. <clears throat> so now we uh, find pathological examination found no ob uh, obvious uh, chrome uh, royal amelial uh, noticed or clear virus in 
occlusion body um, in plant sitter. And the ACE2, you know, the sars cov 2 receptor um, were expressed uh, with the no or moderate level. Next slide. So, uh, conclusion, here in the general population of COVID-19, as a simple thrombotic patients uh, were present in pregnant women. So based on the uh, systematic uh, assessment result in various clinical uh, specimens from a, a much larger patient con cohort from our period study, and there is no confirmed term from for matter evidence for mother to children to child transmission in COVID-19 patients with land with land pregnancy. So the highlight of this study was systematic uh, evaluated the risk of mother to child transmission of SARS-CoV-2 with the maybe largest sample size so far, considering the current or epidemic of COVID-19 in the world, although the significance of our work is limited by sample size and uh, prospective method. We think that our finding provide a valuable basis for making perinatal treatment guidelines in COVID-19 patient. Here we suggest uh, that measures uh, such as protecting the birds kennel from contamination uh, are helpful to avoid intra-pattern uh, pattern transmission. So we found, you know, in our study, we found three uh, newborns uh, uh, suspected infect uh, SARS-CoV-2. So we, we detect uh, uh, this, uh, the, these uh, newborns uh, three to four times uh, nuclear uh, acid test, but now it's the uh, negative, negative, uh, negative result. So next, we suggest uh, that strict strict protection in transport process is the most important aspect in prevent preventing post perturbed transmission, and in, in addition, uh, the absence of sars cov two in breast milk um, provide a support for indirect fading. So we suggest some, you know, the uh, pregnant uh, we infected with with uh, COVID-19 uh, maybe uh, 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 take a um, uh, strictly prevention to uh, to breed to breed. So next, nice. So this study supported by um, the science and the technology department of Hubei Province. And uh, I thank my uh, clinical uh, research team, Professor Zhang Yuanzhen, Department of Gene uh, Genealogy and uh, Obstetrics at Zhongnan Hospital, and Dr. Guo Juanjuan uh, collect some of the sample from the clinic and uh, uh, attending the uh, physician. And our team, Dr. Luo Fan, uh, did uh, the, she did the nuclear uh, eyesight test. And Dr. Chen Liangjun uh, from the Department of Laboratory uh, Medicine did some of the uh, nuclear eyesight test. Thanks, uh, thanks everyone, and uh, thank you for your uh, attention. Thank you. Thank you for this excellent talk. <laughs> Uh, it's very interesting listening to you and uh, to deal with this rather unusual topic in uh -huh. this worldwide debate. Uh, as promised, I will start back now to give place for the uh, panel of experts. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. 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 
Yeah, so now I think the microphone is working better. So uh, I promise to step back now to leave a place for the discussion. And as mentioned earlier, uh, the discussion will be animated uh, by two uh, top experts from Luxembourg. On the one hand, uh, our colleague at the university, uh, Professor Stephanie Kreis, who is a virologist and uh, teaching and doing research at the uh, Faculty of Science, Technology and Medicine. And on the other hand, Dr. Jean-Claude Schmidt, uh, by uh, training a specialist for infectious diseases and currently uh, director of healthcare uh, responsible for our country. Uh, further, this uh, discussion will be facilitated by uh, our colleague, uh, Dr. Uh, Xin King uh, Mao, who joined us uh, rather two months ago at the university as well. So uh, I hope you will all enjoy. Okay. Uh... So Jean-Claude and uh, uh, Stephanie, I give you the, uh, the lead, so mm -hmm. please. Okay. So I would suggest that uh, Stephanie's uh, starting. Okay, well, thank you very much for this uh, interesting presentation. Um, maybe we can, um, maybe I'll start with the new data that you presented oh. in, in the end, um, because I'm not sure, maybe I missed it. On, on, some, on one slide, you said you had three positive children out of yeah. the uh, 23 mothers you tested, right? Yeah. So you, you had a positive PCR for, for three yeah. newborn babies, but in your yeah, conclusion, yeah. you said there was no transmission. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. So, you know, we, we want to find uh, maybe uh, these children maybe transfer to, uh, transfer to, uh, you know, the baby department. So, we surprise, you know, infection. This, uh, the this, the you know, the proceeding. So we test these three, three child, three uh, babies, uh, three or five times. So although uh, at you know the ten point uh, after three hours, nine, 19, 19 hours. So we found uh, uh, the special also uh, negative, not find the uh, virus infection. Okay, so the mothers were um, within the mothers. You had um, I can't remember now um, ten mothers who had a positive PCR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who, yeah. who were actively infected, and the others had uh, IgM, IgG antibodies. So yeah, 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 yeah. So you know, here we, we didn't talk about you know some of the IgG and IgM. So you now. Uh, uh, we also can uh, analyze this data. So we, uh, in our lab, we uh, detected uh, some, you know, the uh, the plagueness, you know, IgM or IgG uh, to hide. Um, but you know, we we didn't find, you know, the the child IgG or IgM. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. So basically, you you found no evidence for transmission taking your previous study into account and now the new cohort. So altogether, I think you had 23 yeah, yeah. mothers in the new study yeah, yeah, and yeah. nine mothers in the previous, so 32. Yeah. And none of them transmitted the virus to the baby, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No transfer, no transfer to the baby. Okay. So that's good news then for the baby. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so maybe I think maybe... Uh, uh, you know, the infection and uh, epidemic in all over the world, maybe other countries like the, like the, like the Europe, maybe find some enough, uh, the, the, uh, plague, uh, plague we, uh, infected with the, uh, uh, COVID 19. So, you know, in our, in our study, we have some, you know, we, we didn't find the, the first, uh, the first, uh, uh terminal and the second terminal, uh, plague. Uh, plague uh, with uh, this virus infection. So now maybe uh, maybe other countries had uh, our the guideline. I think I think yeah. so. 
Okay. Yeah, well, I just checked um, mm. early on today for, for new publications on this, and I think there's not much, um, as we all know, but there's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that came out um, in April, and they were investigating 31 infected mothers, and mm. as well, they didn't find any evidence for transmission. But um, I just read something yesterday. I think they have a positive baby in Brussels. Yeah. Um, and this apparently <clears throat> is really surprising. But um, that, that was just reported a few days ago. Maybe Jean-Claude, you've heard about this. And apparently it's the first baby in Europe yep. Yep. Uh, that yep. has been tested positive. But I think they're going to follow up and they have to repeat the PCRs in order to confirm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that mother so, was very ill, I think. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, uh, I think now we detect a, a virus infection. I think so. The PCR, also like the, the uh, quantity uh, RT-PCR, uh, we choice, you know, the tag band, you know, the, uh, the two probe, the two probe. Maybe the, uh, we, we test the segment, you know, the S segment and the OFA, AB1. This segment to test uh, uh, the tagman pro probe, you know. So in China, uh, CDC uh, uh, recommended uh, some of the kit. We use this. We use the uh, three probe, like you know the uh, mm -hmm. uh, like the control. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think I think it is uh, is so special, uh, so special and uh, uh, similar. So okay. you're using a similar protocol. Uh, I think yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the questions I had um, for your internal controls. So basically, you yeah. have three primer pairs in your. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Mm. Um, and then I was. You mentioned in the beginning um, that I can't remember. You you detected the virus in urine samples and feces. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and can you maybe just repeat this this part? How many patients did you investigate? Because this is also very interesting if uh, the virus can be um, identified in, in urine or feces. Um, so can you maybe elaborate? Yeah. On this? So uh, uh, in the uh, preliminary study, the only, only nine patients, we didn't test, you said, it's the samples. But you know, after uh, after published the paper, after published the paper, so now some uh, some you know uh, researchers suggest me we uh, increased some samples. So now we collect many many samples, or uh, including the urine and uh, uh, secreting, or detected the uh, the nuclear acid tested. And how many how many samples did you find, or how many positive? Patients? No, 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 no fine patient. And yeah, not yet. Mm -hmm. Not yeah, yet. Yeah. Ah, oh, you're planning to do it. Yeah, you're planning to do it. In future. Ah, okay. Mm. I see. Um, I didn't um, understand this. Um, so uh, here I want to know uh, how many infections of uh, uh, Corona 19 in Luxembourg? In uh, patient? total patient, we are now uh, slightly above uh, four thousand. So it's four thousand. It's of course not a lot compared to. Uh, okay. A lot of okay. Countries. Yeah, uh, four thousand. Okay. Uh, uh, it's uh, rather a high uh, a frequency if you uh, compare it to the population. The population of uh, Luxembourg is only six hundred twenty thousand. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, uh, we think we have a lot of patients because we test also a lot. So we, we test oh. even uh, people now that are not symptomatic, just in a, in a kind of screening approach uh, to see how the virus is circulating in the population, even in, in the absence of symptoms. Yeah, how to confirm this, uh, this patient by, by nuclear acid and the chest CT? Uh, so uh, we do in the screening program we do uh, normally the, the PCR test of course yeah. and uh, 
uh, if there are clinical symptoms, uh, there are CT scans available, of course, uh, for, for patients uh, that go to the hospital. Now, okay. a lot of patients do not go to the hospitals because they have minor symptoms, uh, either no symptoms at all or almost no yeah, 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 yeah. All, or, or very minor symptoms. And, of course, for these patients, we don't have CT scans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, now in, in Wuhan city, uh, our, we, we have, you know, the, uh, you know, the 100, uh, 1,100,000 uh, uh, citizens. We also test, uh, you know, the nuclear assay. So mm -hmm. last, uh, uh, last week, so in my lab, we detected uh, 1,500 uh, samples from, you know, the, uh, you know, the, the citizens. We didn't test uh, uh, positive uh, virus, in fact, virus. Yeah. So maybe so you, 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 you had, just, yeah. You mm. had two thousand five hundred samples last week, and they were all negative. Yeah, negative from you know some of the uh, citizen. You know, mm -hmm. you know your so citizen. We, we, the, the, mm. you think there's no viral transmission in in Wuhan anymore at the moment? Yeah, 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 yeah. No transit in, in Wuhan. Maybe we didn't find some, you know, no, no symptoms uh, in virus infection yeah. patient. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, yes. So I, I understand that, that there may be some uh, asymptomatic, as, asymptomatic patients. Yep. Yes. So it's me, uh, Professor Ho, uh, Ho Wei, it's me. So this is also the, 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 the question in Luxembourg. And also for the pregnant, yeah, uh, yeah. so for the uh, from yeah. the literature, I understand that uh, that in the whole population, uh, the, huh? the the researchers studied, there are eighty five percent of the pregnant women they don't they don't have the positive nucleic acid uh, of the virus uh, COVID nineteen. Uh, and in the, the rest, 15% of this pregnant woman, we found uh, 13 uh, 13 percent of them, they don't show any symptom. They are positive for the uh, nucleic acid uh, test. So most of the population positive uh, for this virus, they don't show any uh, symptom. So this is also the challenge for the European countries to control um, because here the mobility is is also very uh, very fast. We 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 have the cross border problems and the Luxembourg. I, I think Jean Claude will make some comments on this. Luxembourg cannot lock down completely because of many reasons. Because Luxembourg is pending on the labor countries. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. that's true. Uh, so we have. Uh, probably a, a large proportion of uh, people that are infected that do not show any symptoms. That's the reason we are testing now uh, on a large scale, actually, uh, even asymptomatic uh, people, just to see how, how common the virus is in the population. We have a very low prevalence now. We are around one in thousand, uh, one in, in one thousand uh, people that test uh, uh, positive uh, the latest results uh, so uh, the, the situation is very much under control uh, compared to what we had some some time ago uh, and then uh, as mentioned we have a, a very uh, large population uh, uh, commuting from the neighboring countries uh, in the day to Luxembourg to to work and going back in the evening uh, to their countries. It's about uh, 200,000 people every day uh, compared to the 620,000 people uh, living in the country. So it's a large uh, proportion. And in uh, some of our neighboring countries, uh, especially in France, the northern part of France, we had a lot of uh, viral infection. Uh, so that's, a, that's a, a risk, of course, Luxembourg has. But on the other side, uh, we also need these people because uh, otherwise the, the work in Luxembourg is, is not done. So, uh, and, and our, our policy was always to keep the, the borders open and not to close the borders.
We cannot hear him. Is no. Yes, Professor Ho. Yeah. You know, you know, uh, in you know the um, uh, February and the match. You know the the city Wuhan city is is so closed. Mm -hmm. So all citizens leaving, and uh, maybe we 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 um, pro prohibit the transmission each other um, like other cities, other province. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But now we, we see on television that uh, Wuhan is now open again. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. now uh, people are allowed to travel and and go. To yeah, not travel, uh, go to travel and uh, go to the, the supermarket and the park and the, the and the park. Yeah. So like the normal normal the normal life uh, is written. Is it is it really normal life because it's yeah uh, yeah. So restaurants um, yeah. are open as well. Open, instance? right? Yeah, yeah. And shops. So you know, you know, every citizen in uh, outside maybe would dress the mask, would dress the mask, mm -hmm. and we we kind of summon you know the social distance. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 social distance. Yeah. So now maybe next, you know, next month, you know, our university maybe some the stu some student maybe they return the return the campus. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. We have we we made some of the some of the you know the make the uh, some of the uh, strictly uh, um, uh, measured to prevention uh, the uh, people's infection or other things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we do the same in Luxembourg. We we um, have started two weeks ago, three weeks ago, to bring the people back to university, um, uh -huh. and at the moment we have forty percent of staff oh, and. Oh. Back okay. on side, and the others are still in home office. Okay, so now in our university, all the faculties now return to the to school to the university uh, and work and uh, and uh, you know some uh, get work uh, in the office and also maybe now we uh, in the office we we teach on online to to mm -hmm. children. Yeah. Absolutely. So you know, yeah. So you know, in in our institute uh, uh, building, so there's maybe you know some of the. Uh, governor uh, and, and research plan. So maybe they get some, you know, the uh, uh, and a graduate student uh, return the uh, campus to re research. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, it's the same in Luxembourg. Um, yeah. Can I um, on? Um, I sometimes check, or basically every day, um, mm. an online database that you probably know. It's um, that there is this famous Johns Hopkins, and there's also mm. a database called Worldometer, where you mm. see. Do you know it? Um, you see the oh. number of cases per country, similar to mm -hmm. Johns Hopkins, and in China, it's China is the only country which doesn't report the total number of tests. They do so. Oh. All the other countries list the tests, uh, how many tests they do mm -hmm. per million population, and how many new cases they have. And it's only uh, China doesn't have a number. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, 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 就是總的總的次數就是比如說我們從開始發病到現在測試了多少哦做了多少測試對他說他想知道為什麼你說測試的是指病人還是指所有人就是做了多少多少個測試他說這個數據可能就是 oh, okay, okay. <笑> I know I know So uh, professor uh, yeah yeah uh, stand, uh, stand, uh, a quick uh, crisis so you know uh, i think maybe uh, next uh, our government will rep uh, will rep uh, report uh, the you know the um, popula population uh, tests uh, you know in i said in in wuhan you know is the you know first uh, i think maybe it's the uh, first time uh, every city you know the uh, 11 11 uh, 11 uh, million. So, uh, million, million yeah million citizens or tests mm -hmm. so i think maybe next uh next month or next uh next uh next week we finish this work so maybe the government will uh will report this one this data 
Yes, so and I maybe, believe. Yeah. yeah. I believe so as I, well. Yeah. So you know, as as I as I know, you know, from th this data from you know the uh, Zhongnan Hospital and in my lab, we we test maybe the uh, the uh, several um, several uh, thousand patient, uh, several thousand citizens. A new a nuclear test, maybe I think maybe the uh, uh, it's not too high. Maybe I think uh, uh, zero point. Maybe I think we didn't find the we didn't find the positive, you know, positive uh, uh, patient uh, with with no symptom, you know, carry carry the virus, carry the virus, no no symptom. Asymptomatic. You didn't find any asymptomatic carriers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Didn't find, yeah. Yeah, maybe not yet. And there is another difference between China and the European countries mm -hmm. is since we have a very high density population, uh, especially in Wuhan, when we have this outbreak of uh, of uh, COVID nineteen. So mm -hmm. for uh, several patients, some patients, so in the hospital we test them again and again. Uh, the 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 nuclear seat. Uh, sometimes I saw in the report that one patient can receive until seven uh, times of the test to be sure that even when they clinically recovered, they will not uh, become positive again. So if we accumulate all these tests together, then you, it's an it's amount of work and it's difficult to know how many patients we have at the end. So in mm -hmm. the reality, maybe there are some work ongoing and uh, uh, later we will have this kind of data. And since we have so many patients, it, there is some delay for the report maybe. But uh, mm -hmm. because my parents, they live in Wuhan, so um, I, I fear that the situation is really uh, stabilized. Uh, there are always uh, some complications, but uh, uh, in, in general, the situation is stabilized. Uh, but it, it, it's the same that China cannot be locked down completely. The economy depends also on other countries. So it's, we face the same challenge as uh, Luxembourg. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I, I saw, for instance, on on this um, on these online um, databases that um, I think yesterday China reported two new cases. So how realistic is this? I mean, in a population of more than a billion people. Um, to have to have two two new cases um, doesn't doesn't seem realistic to me. Mm -hmm. So I no? think it's a difficult it's question a difficult for question. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For him. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to uh, extract. <laughs> Maybe I think maybe the in the in the future we want this the this the new 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 data as we start. Okay. I, I, yeah. I, I yeah. have a question regarding to I want to come back to, to the, your follow up study. Um, uh -huh. So you had this uh, women and you had only uh, in the follow up study uh, forty three percent of them that were tested positive with. Uh, with a PCR, he said mm -hmm. because you have only done uh, a PCR in some of the, the the patients, or is it because the others have been tested but it was negative? Mm -hmm. and, and then the, the second question, which goes with it, is uh, what is your experience on false negative uh, results with a PCR test? Uh, we have uh, uh, commonly uh, false negative tests. Uh, that happens quite often. It depends on the, the quality of the sample, of course, you take. And it depends, obviously, also on the viral load you, that you have in, in, in your throat. Uh, what what okay. is your experience with uh, the, the sensitivity of the test, actually? Okay, the first question, yeah. So, you know, uh, this, uh, you know, the uh, 23, uh, Pregnant with uh, uh, with core uh, with COVID nineteen, uh, mm -hmm. uh, tested by tested by the nuclear acid uh, positive. So now uh, 
uh, you know, the after you know the derivatory, you know, um, we we uh, uh, maybe they we they recovered from the hospital. We didn't test. We didn't test. You know the nuclear acid. Okay. But uh, you know, yeah. But you know, uh, after one month, this patient, this patients, or some of the pregnant women will be returned to the hospital to detect a healthy, uh, uh, tested. So we detected, you know, sword and blood. We find some, you know, the IgM. Several, several uh, pregnant uh, women. Uh, IG, uh, IgG maybe increase, yeah, yeah. yeah increase, yeah. yeah. So yeah. you you said the second question, you know this, you know we want we how we want to to set up, you know the post uh, the negative, uh, in PCR, you know yeah. this question, yeah. So you know, um, let's uh, you know the PCR we said you know the blank country and the negative country uh, and the positive country, positive country. You know, we use some of the uh, uh, SARS CoV 2 strain, yeah, yeah. Uh, RNA as the positive control. So, mm -hmm. every time maybe, maybe the positive control is shown and the negative control and the blend control is, is not shown. So, we, we, we check, we confirm this uh, result. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, the question mm. was more so the clinical sensitivity. So, if you have a, a population of uh, 100 uh, people that have the virus that have clinical signs and you are sure that this is uh, uh, COVID. if you test them all how mm. how many will yeah be oh yeah if how many will be positive so in in europe and in uh, in uh, uh, the united states there are different studies uh, about clinical sensitivity and it the, the rate of false uh, negative uh, uh, results goes from 5% to 40%. So it's very broad. Uh, mm. Yeah. So, you know, in, uh, in, in, uh, in, uh, in Wuhan city, you know, mm -hmm. there's a, a positive, you know, the, now maybe some uh, have the uh, pneumonia. So maybe you uh, go to the, uh, uh, hospital and for for treatment. Mm -hmm. Now here, you know, some of the hospital there is no uh, uh, pneumonia patient or mm -hmm. recovered mm -hmm. or recovered. Now I think maybe our uh, uh, local government worry about you know the some you know the uh, the no uh, the some of the uh, patient with no symptom. Mm -hmm. But the nuclear, but the nuclear eye seat is positive, so mm -hmm. now we we worry about this, uh, you know, the this uh, uh, the numbers. Mm -hmm. But now we, uh, uh, I get some information from all my friends or in in hospital, they 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 think they think maybe the this patient was too lot, you know, mm -hmm. too lot in 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 Wuhan city, yeah, in Wuhan city. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. The, the question was more, I think, um, uh, the, the percentage of false positives or false negative tests you have. I mean, wh wh whatever test you do, uh, everybody yeah. has a certain percentage of, of false negative and false positive, which is not so much a problem here. It's more the false um, negative tests. Um, and and I think Jean Claude was asking this: How many false uh -huh. negative samples do you actually have routinely? If you uh, if you test eleven million people or ten million people, how many of them are false negatives? Um, maybe uh, this uh, this data maybe I didn't find uh, report about in you know in some of the public publication report is the negative maybe person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I. Yeah, yeah, you know. I have a I have a question for for Jean Claude and also for the other speakers and animators. Mm -hmm. So yesterday, I read a very interesting paper from Nature. Oh, okay, uh, so, so so this paper talk about uh, whether it's a good idea uh, to. 
passport uh, to, to, to get the immunity passport um, during this yeah. uh, COVID-19 uh, crisis. Because actually in China, I know that in Wuhan city, so on the which, uh, on, on, your, on your phone, so each citizen receive a QR code to show that if you are positive for this virus or not, yeah. Uh, if you get this passport it, of immunity, it's easier for you to, to go for travel and for other things. If you are uh, diagnosed as positive, maybe you, you are not so free to do anything you want. Mm -hmm. So a lot of debate has been launched in the worldwide. And uh, so since Luxembourg is launching the large scale screening program recently, I wondered what do you think uh, of this immunity passport? What is your opinion from your side and from Huawei uh, professor side? Yeah, so I, I can perhaps start with it uh, because the whole discussion about immunity is quite uh, complex. So we know that uh, a certain number of people in Luxembourg have uh, antibodies, uh, but antibodies that not, does not necessarily mean immunity. Uh, so uh, if I remember well, the last uh, um, uh, result on uh, the CONVINCE study, which came out this morning, is 2.62% uh, 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 of the population, so less than 3% of the population has EGI antibodies to the virus, which is uh, very low. So we are far away from what uh, some people imagined uh, some weeks ago, saying we will go to a, a largely immunized uh, population where we have herd immunity and this kind of things. I mean, this is uh, far, far, far away from from uh, uh, the current situation. So that that's uh, that's one thing. The other thing is that, uh, of course, a uh, kind of immunity passport would mean that first of all you are sure that these antibodies give immunity. There are reasons to believe it, but uh, it's not sure. Uh, the other thing is we don't know how long these antibodies would uh, would last and and be active. And then uh, we, ha we have basically a kind of ethical problem with uh, uh, an uh, immunity passport uh, where you would have two types of citizens at the end. So, so those ones that could uh, do a lot of things and the other ones would have a, a, a strict uh, limitation of their uh, personal rights because they would have to stay at home or whatever uh, or could not travel. And that's at least for, for European countries, it's, it's very difficult to accept this, uh, this uh, situation. So uh, at least uh, from the political side, uh, the message is very clear. No, that's not an acceptable solution for, for Luxembourg. Oh, okay. So, you know, you know, in, in China, there is, you know, there's the, the green code, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the green code. So you know, uh, we we leave the uh, uh, community, mm -hmm. and we uh, we enter into the campus. We scan mm -hmm. use the use the cell phone to scan. Mm -hmm. You know the the green code. Mm -hmm. So if you get the green code, you can go to you know to the uh, righteous run to the supermarket, mm -hmm. to you know to the some of the the, the public public pay, uh, place. So we use the uh, the green code, like you said. Maybe I think maybe the the passport. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we in in China. So uh, my uh, my foreign uh, a friend asked me why some older, not with the with the you know the the cell phone, uh, and the older uh, the oldest how to use this uh, scan the green code. So you know in China we have you know uh, in, in in Wuhan. Also, mm -hmm. some everyone maybe have the have the cell phone, and this cell phone maybe have the some the you know the scan the scan system. So you 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 go out by bus, by a subway. We use the green cone. So I think maybe this is help you to, you know, to maybe make the imagined world uh, get a, uh, you know, uh, to to live and uh, uh, and uh, uh, maybe the work. I think it's no no problem like the green code. 
Yeah. But how, how do people get it? They um, Do they get it by PCR test or by antibody test? Do they have to be negative yeah. by PCR and antibodies? And, and antibodies, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh. you know, yeah, so, you know, antibodies may be used the different methods. We get the different uh, data. So some, you know, the, you know, the, you know, the, uh, some of the, uh, you know, uh like the like the you know the uh chemical uh chemical showing this the method to, to antibody i think maybe is the special but now we use some of the you know what i mean what i mean some of the uh uh what i mean uh is the is the gold uh the gold antibody oh yeah 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 gold yeah 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 like, uh, what i mean Golden, yes, this is nice. I think it's the uh, it's the law special, specific, yeah, law specific, yeah. Yeah, they they they, they increase the spec specificity of the mm. test results, and also I, yeah. I I think in Wuhan we we also test the CT scan for for part of the citizens um, that, oh, oh, oh. that they are susceptible, um, yeah. So it's not a single uh, nuclear seed uh, test. We count more on the CT scan results. As far as I know from my family and also my colleagues in the hospitals. So the, yeah. the, mm. the, yeah, the PCR test yeah. is really the first, yeah. uh, the, the, the first uh, screen, but screening, but then they will combine with, uh, with other tests Yes, yeah, several tests in parallel, mm. and now the, the the kit, commercial kit has been uh, produced in the second, third generation, and uh, yeah, it's comparable to those that we found in Europe. At the beginning, mm. there are some some limit, yeah, technical limits. So also, uh, some uh, some people ask to talk about the. Uh, Inlaid immunity and viral infection of COVID-19. So uh, yes, yes, because last webinar we have discussed the vaccine vaccination, the vaccine of the COVID-19. So we have oh, yeah. a very interesting debate with um, with Dr. Uh, Jeha Stemo from uh -huh. uh, yes uh, Hospital Robert Schumann. So he. Uh, he uh, explained us the development of the traditional vaccine and uh, the possibilities to uh, to prepare uh, the COVID-19 vaccine in a very short period because uh, in the traditional way we need at least five years but now uh, all the whole world work together we want to have it uh, within two uh, two years maybe one year and a half so a lot of debate on the effective list of efficiency of the vaccine they think maybe it, it will not be good as as expected so there is a, a question about the uh, innate immunity and the viral infection yeah so they, they want to ask you this question today again to complete oh, the answers okay so so you know, several years uh, I study, you know, some inlaid immunity uh, uh, and uh, HIV infection. So I uh, found some, you know, the uh, interferon, interferon, uh, uh, interferon um, lambda, you know, interferon lambda to, you know, the anti-HIV infection. So we also st study some of the uh, CD fifteen six T cells. Also have this. Uh, uh, um, anti-HIV, so we focus on innate immunity study, some of the HIV. So uh, in this outbreak of uh, uh, coronal 19, we also, uh, in, in my res uh, like a research team, also think about this, this uh, innate immunity. So now um, maybe we found why, you know, some of the, like, like all this uh, pregnant, pregnant, you know, this, uh, uh, patient, why uh, after dilations, this uh, uh, this patient didn't uh, get some, you know, the the, 
the immunity may be the too high. Uh, so we we want to find some, you know, the uh, the innate immunity maybe maybe in uh, in pregnant women with uh, coronal cor COVID nineteen have some the have some changed. So we get some, you know, these patients the patient serum. Maybe we we want to find some of the you know the anti uh, antiviral or restrict uh, restrictive restrictive factors in this the you know this this the serum. Maybe we test like like some of the you know the interferon or other things other things. So here we we want to focus this the these samples. Also, we collect many of the you know the patients, uh, including the serious middle and mild, these the different uh, groups of the patients, we get some, you know, the, the serum, maybe you can find some, you know, the, uh, the immune and infe infection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we want you to study. This our group will do this one, yeah. <clears throat> Anyone, other yeah. questions? Um, they, I just have a question about this IL-6 in the in the follow-up study. You had yeah. a few mothers with high IL-6 levels. Um, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Interesting as a as a potential biomarker, let's say, to to indicate severe disease because it's it's part of a cytokine storm. Um, yeah. And I think in Luxembourg we also have a small study um, going on looking at IL-6 levels. Um, or, some of our group members are involved in this. And um, what is your experience with that? Did you test for IL-6 in more patients, um, not just <laughs> in a, a viral transmission study from mother to baby? Um, and, and how often did you detect high levels of IL-6? Yeah, yeah, IL-6 maybe, I think maybe the, is the infla inflation um, uh, factors. So now in our study, we tested IL-6 IL in, in pregnant, in pregnant uh, patients and, and, and didn't uh, test in, 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 child, in, in the newborns. So we, 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 we reviewed some papers reported some, you know, the sars cov maybe some of the infections we, the IL-6 is too high, uh, increased in, in you know, in the in the uh, disease program, disease uh, uh, proceeding, so too high. But now we, in our in our uh, uh, research, we detested IL-6. This is our this is our aim. But it's and not we, not uh, yeah not a no um, maybe uh, other patients we detect uh, IL-6, IL-6. And the mothers that had higher IL-6 levels, were they yeah. more sick than the others? Was that an indicator for the severity of the disease? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. See a correlation? Okay, yeah. yeah? yeah. Mm. <clears throat> okay. Yes, there is, there, is, um, there is another question of you from the audience oh. is, uh, Yes, we, now we are talking a lot of uh, things about COVID-19, but uh, life goes on. We, we also meet other disease. We have COVID-19 and also we have non-COVID-19 disease. The patients, uh, they, uh, they, they have, for example, they have um, uh, cancer uh, <laughs> at this moment. Um, how, um, how is your, your opinion on the strategy uh, to treat both of them. So from, from your point of view, uh, yes, this is a, a question from audience. So maybe I invite uh, Jean-Claude uh, from the point of view of Ministry <laughs> of Health uh, in facing this very complicated sanitary situation, uh, how Luxembourg has managed. Uh, we, we know that the, the, the Lux Expo will be closed very soon. They, they they are open to 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 host a lot of patients of COVID nineteen. So in Seychelles, they also uh, closed the, 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 the specialized world. Mm -hmm. So uh, we we really want to listen to you for for your point of view on both situations. And uh, yes, 
Okay, um, so in Luxembourg, the, the, the policy was to separate uh, COVID positive patients and COVID negative patients as far as possible and as soon as possible, as, as soon as a diagnosis, uh, uh, possible diagnosis uh, was made. Uh, so we did uh, two things in the hospital. Where we separated uh, the units, the hospitalization units. We had COVID uh, positive uh, units and we had COVID uh, negative units. In um, uh, outpatient care, uh, we uh, closed uh, most of the the, the medical uh, offices and uh, or they were limited only to a, a special type of patients but everybody who had uh, possible symptoms of a COVID infection was directed to uh, four uh, centers we had uh, over the country and uh, was considered uh, COVID positive as long as uh, we could not prove that they were COVID uh, negative and that's uh, the, the centers we are closing now because we don't have any any patients or uh, more uh, with with uh, symptoms or almost no no patients with with symptoms. Uh, the patients that still will have uh, symptoms compatible with uh, COVID uh, can go to the hospital to the emergency uh, unit of the hospital and and they will again be separated from the other patients not to to contaminate. Uh, uh, patients. Um, so ev everything was based on, on, on this uh, uh, clear uh, separation of, of patients. And uh, um, well, what, what was again the, uh, the, the exact question you wanted to address? Sorry. Yeah, the, the, the exact uh, question is uh, especially in the urgent situation. Uh, yeah. If the patients they, they they need to be operated, for example, ah, yeah, sometimes it's not possible. Yeah, okay, uh, and and within this separated system, of course, everything uh, was maintained that was vital. I mean, if you had a, a heart attack, you you uh, came to the hospital, but you were in a COVID positive uh, uh, unit. If you had COVID, but you were treated, of course. Uh, so uh, really urgent things were were not delayed. Where we, we, we possibly delayed treatments was uh, things that were not urgent at all. And then you have for, for some of the diseases, you have some possibilities to at least to gain some days and, and until uh, COVID, uh, possible COVID in, infection has stabilized uh, uh, before you do a treatment. And that's, for example, the situation for cancer patients. If you have a cancer mm -hmm. patient, you have to do a, a chemotherapy. Uh, and of course, if uh, the patient is... Uh, has an active COVID infection, you are not so happy with, with that situation. But that's, that's again the same with any other acute infection in a cancer patients. You would try to delay as much as possible uh, chemotherapy and you can ga gain some days or uh, sometimes some weeks before you start uh, the, the treatment. And uh, so basically everybody was treated uh, sometimes with some delays and then we watched very closely, of course, uh, uh, a certain number of outcome indicators of our, of our health system. And uh, the strongest is perhaps uh, the death rate. If you see uh, what happened in the United States, uh, in, in New York, for example, they treated the COVID patients, but there was no place left in the hospitals to treat the other mm -hmm. patients. So, a lot of people died in New York, not of COVID, but of uh, myocardial infarction uh, or other acute uh, diseases. So, uh, and, and, and we clearly looked at this also in Luxembourg in our statistics of uh, people who died. And we have no real uh, uh, over uh, a higher death rate uh, in, in the general population. We have, of course, an increase of COVID deaths, but we don't have an increase of general deaths in, in, in the population, or very small, actually. Uh, and, and we looked into other uh, causes of disease, and we don't have an excess of uh, uh, cardiovascular diseases or brain-related, uh, uh, stroke-related diseases or, or other things. So we are quite confident that we did a correct uh, job even over those uh, difficult weeks. 
Yes. Yes, there is uh, some questions from YouTube channel. I will try to yeah. submit to you. So there is a student want to know if people who are healthy and have antibodies, however, have the possibility to have virus. <laughs> so does she mean people? She has people who have no symptoms but have. IgM or IgG antibodies against the virus, whether they can be infected again? Is that the question? Or whether they have the virus? I mean, we one would need to do a qPCR in order to find I, 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 I think maybe maybe the, the question, yeah, the question is not so clear. From yeah. my understanding is maybe whether he, she wants to know if these kind of patients are uh infect infectious they they have the possibility to transmit the virus to the others because for themselves they are clinically healthy they don't have symptoms they have antibodies yeah it's like the yeah it depends where these people are in the in the in the stage of infection so if it's a very early inf uh, infectious period and they have igm antibodies igm are usually an indicator of an early infection. Um, I think there could be residual virus, but probably not sufficient to infect people. But if they have IgG antibodies, that means the infection is longer ago. Um, I don't think there's any evidence for um, these patients to be infectious. Not as far as I know. I haven't read that anyway. Yeah, mm. and uh, do you have anything to add to these questions, uh, Professor Ho? Uh, oh, yeah. Um. yeah. Because this uh, student asked several questions, so so then he, he wondered uh, if you have some experience or information about uh, giving the antibody of, of uh, uh, COVID-19 to the sick patients. So is the, the serum oh. therapy, I think she, she wants to mention the serum therapy, the possibility, uh, and uh, also for the other immunity part, not yeah. antibody yeah. dependent, yeah. Yeah, I know. So, you know, uh, as I said, we uh, detected some of the, you know, the uh, SARS-CoV-2 antibody. So we detected, you know, some, you know, the blood, and uh, you know the uh, anino anionic fluid, and some of the core, some of the uh, core blood. We test, we test, uh, you know, the antibody, uh, the antibody, like the, you know the IgM and IgG. So like the like the professor uh, Crane said, you know, we found some of the patient in you know in the acute period we get some of the IgM, and also this the this the patient. Uh, recover the uh, period we get some of the IgG IgG so we found uh, we found you know the you know the the double uh, positive antibody and the uh, single uh, uh, antibody uh, antibody uh, positive so like uh, for example IgM or IgG uh, 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 double you know the double uh, the uh, antibody uh, uh, positive so this patient may be also, we guess maybe in in acute in acute infection or recovered, and also we found some, many of the uh, patient in our study patient. This the this the samples we found. You know the IgG is 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 the uh, positive. So now we think this the maybe this patient now is recovered or is in recovered. So we found this data. Maybe we we, we uh, collect these data. Maybe. Uh, we want to get uh, published uh, also. <clears throat> yes. And also, yeah, yeah, also, yeah, I, I, I told all the students, also we test, you know, I, I test some of the ACE IgA, you know? Yeah, we test ACE IgA, yeah. Okay. Also this to detect some, you know, these the samples to find some, uh, uh, especially in the, uh, in the breast milk, we test ACE IgA. Okay. So we, yeah, we didn't find no, no, yeah, no, didn't, yeah. <laughs> and also in the literature, I don't see that any antibody detected in the milk, in the breast milk. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We milk milk the IgM IgG, and also we detected the ACE IJ, IgA. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yes. So I wondered if our animators uh, Jean Claude and uh, Stephanie, if you have any other questions from the, the the YouTube channel, we we don't have any other questions. So uh, we are still in the timing. So I suggest if you if you are fine, I can inform our audience uh, online of the next webinar, and uh, and then it, it, we we are finished. So mm, the next, okay, welcome back, uh, Jay. <laughs> I had to switch to the mobile phone because something uh, went wrong with my computer. I don't know what. Yes. Maybe uh, coronavirus. I don't know. <laughs> you are back just at the, the, the right moment. Uh, it's, a, it's a strange uh, phenomenon. Uh, we have to discuss this off with our IT guys. But there's something with Idoram here in Belva that doesn't work always uh, as it should be. But so we, if we, this we, doesn't we, uh, be of any interest uh, to our audience, uh, I think uh, the final word uh, would uh, be rather easy. Uh, uh, thank you very much for all those who gave some bright color to this uh, session. First of all, uh, our uh, colleague from uh, Wuhan, and uh, <laughs> we really look forward to more close interaction between, between our institutions. I think this is a discussion that we will have uh, beyond our webinar sessions. And then, of course, many thanks to uh, Jean-Claude. I know that uh, he has a very, very busy agenda, uh, uh, usually already, and if there is a COVID virus uh, <laughs> uh, struggling around, this makes it even more complicated for him. Uh, so uh, many thanks for finding uh, two hours to share with us uh, in a very busy agenda. And of course, uh, Stephanie, it's not the first time you are committed to our webinars. Many thanks for bringing in your expertise uh, and uh, to argument uh, with our speakers. Many thanks to you, uh, Xen King, for once again uh, running the show in a perfect way. Uh, the man behind the curtain, Philippe uh, Trabu, who is in charge of uh, uh, the uh, technical aspect of uh, this event. I think uh, he has made a lot of work uh, for us, with us, uh, during the past two months. And, of course, thank you to all those who joined us today once again, because uh, all these webinars would be useless if nobody would connect to it. Um, <laughs> I wish you a nice end of the day, uh, which is closer for our colleagues in Wuhan than for us. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, maybe, uh, Xen King, you could once more announce uh, the forthcoming events. Yes. Uh, just, just before I inform everyone of the next webinar, mm -hmm. uh, I want to give my great thanks to Professor Howe again, uh, mm -hmm. because now you are in your evening time. Yeah, we are <laughs> nearly 10 o'clock in the evening in Wuhan. So many thanks for your efforts. And I, I know that you still have a lot of words you want to share with Gilbert on the education program in Wuhan and also mm -hmm. the, the exchange of possibilities in students uh, and the researchers. So I, I, I will try, if you are now, I will try to organize another meeting, extra meeting between us to discuss more in details. So for our um, students and audience, the next webinar is in uh, 11th June, so in two weeks. Um, so we are very lucky to have Professor Yu Zui from the Lenmin Hospital of Wuhan University, so the colleague of uh, Professor Ho Wei. Um, and he will discuss with us uh, some aspect uh, therapy strategy for the uh, very uh, sick, uh, critical ear, ear uh, patients, coronavirus patients, from his opinion of uh, uh, of a medicine medical doctor from urgency, urgence and uh, the the her animation, so the, the intensive care. So it's uh, 11th 
uh, June. So see you again here. So we are waiting for you here. Yes. Okay. And, uh, yes. And uh, thanks, uh, Jean Claude, for your for your time, busy agenda, and uh, two yeah. hours with us. Many thanks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have a word to say. Say welcome to uh, uh, Jenberg and also uh, Stephen and uh, other professors. Well, welcome to Wuhan University. You no. Know, you know, maybe the next year, the the cherry flower is you know the cherry flower is famous yeah. in the Wuhan. So I think maybe it's the most uh, most beautiful campus in China. So now yes. welcome to visit Wuhan University. Maybe I have the some the guide around you know the campus. Thank yes. you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes, the Thank University you. of Wuhan is has more than one hundred years history in yeah, China. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, the architecture and probably millions of students. Yeah, 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 millions of students. So you know, every uh, every year we get some undergraduate student. Maybe the, in this year, two thousand twenty, maybe we we uh, uh, rec uh, uh, recruit. You know, maybe the. Uh, 7,200 uh, undergraduate student uh, mm -hmm. uh, or all the, can, or the can, uh, country. Um, yes, yeah, so yeah. now we, we, we in, enrolled, we now enrolled some, you know, the uh, medicine, uh, you know, the medicine student was with, you know, the uh, uh, five, 500, 500 undergraduate student. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. well, Thank you very much for the invitation. And yeah, as soon as we are allowed to travel again, let's go. Okay. So, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, uh, Shen Qing, it's, yes. it's okay? Yeah, Until I think, yes, it's okay. So thank you again. So I will yeah. let you know for the next uh, meeting, private meeting, so we can discuss more on the program. Thank okay. you very much. And uh, thanks thank to you. all the participants. Thank yes. you. Okay. Uh, see you in regards to see Wuhan. You. All the best. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. We so start from Wuhan to Wuhan. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.